Hey guys, and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. If you remember, we just beat a dude who could set things on fire with his mind, and now we're hanging out with this guy. Um, yeah, I don't really remember where we're supposed to go, but that looks very, very promising. What's less promising is how little ammo I have. Oh god, just, 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 just stay in the corner and shoot them. If I learned anything from my short, short time playing Call of Duty, the best strategy is to just sit in the corner and shoot anyone who comes around it. So, we'll just do that. And it won't be too difficult. Hey, scene transition. I wonder where... I wonder what's gonna happen. <laughs> I have no idea. This is... This has turned into a huge dungeon. This... Uh, whole hotel quest. We shall see. Ooh. What in the world are... What? I hope that that is just, like, red water and not the most incredibly wasteful vampires ever. Nope, it's the most incredibly wasteful vampires ever. Alright, guys. Um, I'm just gonna let that door close. We're gonna pop a quick save. And then we'll get in there. We don't really have any ammo left at all. And our instant kill amazing flamethrower, totally out of juice. We have 18 shots in our assault rifle, which is not enough to kill anybody. Got a couple of clips of pistol ammo. And we've got a ton, you know, the hunter slayer has a bunch of ammo, but the thing sucks all the time. So we'll just, let's hope, maybe we can talk our way out of this situation. You know, honestly... With the look of the decor, I'm really not expecting much, but we'll see. There we go. Hey, it's you again! I recognize the smell of your blood, young Knight. Very potent. Greater than our last meeting. I could smell it even over the flood of my fallen brethren. Doesn't that make you wonder? Didn't I kill you already? Puppet, the strength of your blood is all that saved you from yourself. Wretched, weak-minded mongrel, the blood is wasted in you. Wasted! <laughs> what are you talking about? I really want to say wasted is what you're about to be, but we're going we're gonna to ask him what he's talking about. Ignorant gutter spawn. Sarcophagus must be destroyed. Eh. What do you think's about to happen? I will do it myself if I must. And you, you will be purified. It is the blood that he is speaking through. The blood of all the pawns. It all must be purified. Wait, what's gonna happen? Never mind. I don't want to look at that. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Dude. You are hella cool right now. Also, I'm stuck on this, this stuff. I really wanted to jump back up here. There we go. Wow, I am not doing it all well in this confrontation. Oh, hey, hey, what? What is this, like, flame burst thing that he can do? That's not very fair. That's not very sporting. All right, business as usual. I have to find a place where he can't jump to, and then I'm gonna hide, cower there and shoot him with the gun that I have ammo for. All right, hold on. Um. Let's see. He can dive in and out of the water, so that's not a good answer. Oh, man. Can we please just skip this? Hi. Save it. Oh. Uh, wasted is what you're about to be. Too bad. Not gonna happen. Let's do this. All right. 
I don't know, like, all of my defiant lines come out like I'm, like, Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, that's still gonna hit us no matter what we do. Um, I really don't know what to do with this guy. He dies pretty quickly, but he also does crap tons of aggravated damage that I can't really deal with, so... You know what? You're a... Why did... Why? Why does... You suck. You know what? You suck. That's... I'm... That's it. That's his... That's... I'm... My guy has this problem where every time I get hit by the monster, he has to reload his gun. I don't know what kind of, t like, insanity that is, but that was what was really sticking me there, and the reason I got kind of pissed is because I'm trying to shoot him, and every time he hits me, he knocks my gun, like, completely out of my hands. So, I'm not sure. That was not a very good attempt. Uh, I wonder, can I go up there? I don't think I can. Um, celerity, maybe? I'm not sure. Wait, what is... Wonder if just like I wonder if a good old fashioned beatdown is the answer. Save it. Wasted. Standing right here. Let's do this. All right. Where's my Where's my sword? What? Yeah. Come here. What is this sword? A different sword? That's interesting. Hold on. I can't. All right, so I really need to avoid that attack in the future. Um. Fug! Crap. Hold on, where's, what's this sword? This super cool sword that I just got. Well, it does some decent damage. All right, all right, we've got no hits left, no hits. Yep. Alright, so I guess a good old-fashioned sword fight with a small amount of dodging is going to be our best bet. <laughs> Oops. Well, okay. What is... Yeah, because our best sword that I can actually wield is this broadsword. Alright. Cutscene trigger. Cutscene. Alright, I'll just walk over here. Hey, cool guy, what's up? This. Yeah, that's cool. Nah. 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 What is going on? There. Alright. Let's do this. Alright, sword out. Yeah. Alright. Run around. Use the good old fashioned... <laughs> good old fashioned video game trick of just running around randomly. Dude, I wonder if I could get him stuck on me. That would be really cool. Ow. Oh, gosh. Gotta get away. See, he does one hit, and then he does that. And it didn't really help that I got far away. Alright, come on. Whatever, just whatever, just whatever. Just just keep yelling. I don't care. I don't care. I, I don't care. Yeah, that's frustrating. You know, it's kind of funny because I think last time I fought this guy, I mentioned that he looks kind of like a triceratops, but now he really, really looks like a triceratops. I don't know how that's relevant. I just wanted to mention it. Ooh, what? Um. Hmm. Hold on a second. I'm actually going to preemptively drop this knife because it said um, like full inventory and it may have been what was preventing me from being able to use this sword. I don't think I have the weapon skill to use it, but we're gonna try. Save it. I've got beef, your club sucks. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right, let's try this magic sword. Because every hero has a magic sword. Interesting. What are you doing up there? Where are you? I can hear you, but I can't see you.
Well, guys. I am not above taking the easy way out. You're really mad. Honestly, you have every right to be really mad. I'm not gonna, I'm not even moving. I'm just gonna stay right here. Done. Boss fight over. Another one cheesed. All right. Good work, everyone. That went incredibly well. It was also horrible and cheesy, but... All right, is there anything to do down here? Also, I want to look at this sword that I picked up. Combat requirement eight. Van a vanquished sec... Or vanished sec of kin kindred. Huh. It causes aggravated damage. Oh, that is super cool. Well, I know what I'm doing for the end of the game here. I'm gonna go, what am I at for melee? Melee is at six. So I need to raise it a couple of times and also maybe strength once and this once. Get it up to eight and then I'm gonna be a machine. I'm gonna be a beast. I'm gonna be something else with lots of words attached to the front of it. <laughs> Anytime you're ready, game? Any? I don't understand. What's the point of a progress bar if it just fills Let up and then nothing happens? Her. Oh! You stand amongst friends now. Oh, and it's good to see you, Ming Zhao. I am happy to be received with such warmth. It is encouraging that the tired animosity between our people has not infected your judgment. Mm. I'm gonna just, yeah, um... You've done nothing to earn my distrust, Ming Xiao. Well, no, that's a complete lie. She did send the Kung Fu twins after me. I'm gonna, yeah. Your foes all lie vanquished, kindred. I come to help. Be at peace. Trouble is nothing but yours to give. I could really use some help. A true friend in death is as true love. Precious, rare, and sweet. Pray your senses have not gone so languid. This blessing cannot be savored. Mm, a true friend or a friend of convenience? We are in a position to help each other, yes. Is it impossible, then, that my admiration is genuine, Kindred? Can friendship truly be founded on nothing? Or must there be nothing to gain in order for friendship to be true? I suppose it's possible. Also, that guy walking down the street is a hero. Did you see him, like, glitch walking? Otherwise, you would do well to say that these little graces. Your eyes are still able to take in my form, and the blood still rushes hot to your skin. Must your organs die so selectively? Hmm. How did you find me here? I watch and wait for the time my path is meant to cross another. The how of it shall be more clear in a moment. Do your agents do the same? I ran into a couple of them. I'm, I have no reason not to trust her, other than that her people who had orders, I had to kill. Indeed. The Chang brothers, my greatest agents, undone by the young soldier of LaCroix. It was obvious your path was greater than I or he had anticipated. See, and that's like the thing. Okay, so let's take a second and give just a tiny history lesson. So Kindred of the East aren't brought back the same way that vampires are. It's not like someone bit your neck and then you're a vampire. It's like you have a path or a destiny that is strong enough to bring you back into life. So the like the example is like the famous revenge kung fu movies, right? So your family was killed wrongly, and you then you were killed, but um, you were strong enough to come back to complete your path or follow your path. Some paths are open-ended, which means you just get to kind of go on forever, and some of them are really short. And um, so the fact that she's totally cool with the fact that I just iced her dudes is because, like, my destiny was stronger than their destiny. So, um, I, and since I just used it in a sentence, I'm going to say my apologies, but I had to smoke those dudes. If their purpose was to make apparent to me the significance of your path, 
Yeah, see? Then their purpose was indeed served, and they are at peace. I can harbor no ill will toward you, the victor. Well, that's really nice of you. Um, you sound impressed. I am impressed, Kindred. That is why I've come to reveal to you the truth, so that you may see that you are not the fist on the croy, but the hand that will put the final events of this war into motion. Um, the brothers mentioned an alliance with LaCroix. We did have an arrangement, LaCroix and I. A mutually beneficial pact to drive the lesser factions from the city. Uh, couldn't have mentioned that earlier? Again, Kindred, I could not have guessed the significance of your path. My arrangement with your prince was too sensitive to reveal. Alright, what happened to the arrangement? LaCroix's zeal in recovering the Ankaran sarcophagus has been to the exclusion of many relationships, mine included. And I, like yourself, have been used by him in his desperate quest for power. He is kind of a jerk like that. Um, how do you use you? LaCroix feared Alistair Grout, the Malkavian primogen, but the cursed insight of his bloodline was strong and brought him uncomfortably close to the truth about LaCroix's ambitions. I, I just want to take this moment to say that your eyeliner is amazing for a game that, that is this old. Um, and so... LaCroix saw an opportunity to rid himself of two problems. A hardened rebel leader and a problematic primogen in one fell stroke. And, as you can see, I was integral to his plan. Oh! Okay, things are beginning to make sense. LaCroix convinced me that an alliance with the Camarilla could strengthen the position of the Quajin. And so, with my help, your prince framed Lines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Grout. Huh, so you were the one I saw there. Yes, you were made to be the witness. For your political naivete put your word beyond reproach. No one would believe you devised such a story. LaCroix used you and once again turned a problem to his advantage. Alright, um... Yeah, sounds sticky. You need to understand that you are a liability, Kindred. Once LaCroix finds the right moment, you will be disposed of. Just as he did with Alistair Grout, Mr. Rodriguez, your sire, and countless others. Man, I never got to hang out with Nines before he died. That's really sad. Um, the rumors are true about the sarcophagus. It's not going to matter. Hear these words, Kindred. The sarcophagus is sealed against the ages. Only the proper key will break this seal. That key now lies safely in Quajin hands. Your prince's prize cannot be had without it. Yeah, I see. Thanks for your honesty. I hope you recognize my sincerity, Kindred. I would like to see you reach your destination before your path is cut short. I hope when next we meet, it is again as friends. I hope so too. Thanks for coming out. Bye then. Well, that's relatively interesting. Um, <laughs> you brought the Sabbat leader's pitiful existence to a violent end. The prince will be as happy as a little girl when you tell him. I severely doubt that. I do not believe LaCroix has ever been happy, no matter what I do. I mean, I brought him the sarcophagus, and he was like, yeah, you know, but you could have brought me the key, too. Where's the key? So on and so forth. Oh, well. Mm -mm. Let's head right on up there. I wonder if Chunk's at the desk again. I like Chunk. I don't really know why. I just do. It's kind of harmless. Do, 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 do. Come on. Hey, man, what's up? Long time no see. Gee, can you believe what happened the other night? I couldn't come into work on account I bought a tamale from a street vendor and got to scoot something terrible. Well, the lucky thing, too, because that food poisoning saved my life. I'm glad. Uh, dude, I'm. Ugh. I'm. That's one lucky bot of the runs, man. You're telling me. But if I had been there, those punks wouldn't have gotten past the front desk. There are two things I can't tolerate, and that's terrorists and tainted tamales. I hear that. I need to see LaCroix. I guess you can go on up. He wasn't expecting you, but you should be all right. Thanks. Wasn't expecting me. You know, that does not bode particularly well. 
I've got one bullet and one clip of ammunition here. Hold on. Weapons are not allowed in an Elysium, so I guess if we're walking into a trap, we gotta do it nice and proper. <sighs> Alright, Beckett's gone. Alright. What's up? The Sabbat. Done. Another obstacle is removed. From the enemy, we resurrect a new order. And this, in no small part, to your service. Did you hear that? You were never able to wipe them out completely. Keep it up, and you may have his job. My unstoppable crusader. My victories in this city are in no small part due to you. You've done what I've asked without question, and you've done it well. Take this small token of my appreciation. We'll rule the city side by side, you and I. I know where the key is. You found the key. Where? Who has it? Mm, an alliance with the Quijin. This nonsense again. Look, I told you before. No kindred would ever ally themselves with those demons. This is a subterfuge. A trick to start a civil war. And apparently, it's worked. The Nines is innocent. He took a shape. I'm going to just tell the whole story. As of this moment, there is no blood hunt against Nines Rodriguez. The Quajin have revealed their plot. They want us to war against each other? Well, to that, I propose an alliance with the Anarchs. Together, we kindred shall drive out these foreigners once and for all. Mm, you really think the, the Anarchs will trust you? Whether they trust me or not, I don't Quay think Jin so. The greater threat. They do trust you, however. After all, you've been working for them all this time. Yeah, probably. Spare me the explanation. I don't hold it against you. Your affiliation is a trite concern next to your accomplishment. In fact, you alone can bridge the two kindred communities and sound the Quay Jin's death knell. You'd be a legend. I'll talk to him. I mean, I really don't have a choice to not, but let's do it. Go to the last round immediately. Tell them the Quay Jin have admitted to killing Grout and that the blood hunt against Nines Rodriguez is officially over. Tell them I have realized the true threat the Quay Jin pose. You will be my emissary mm -hmm. for the Alliance, so naturally you speak on behalf of the Camarilla. Choose your words carefully. I will begin organizing plans for war. Good luck. The prosperity of all this city's kindred depends on your success tonight. I'll see what I can do. Dude, can I just not? Can I just not do that at all? Is it possible for me to just not? Because I would really like to just not do that. Bye, Chunk. <sighs> all right. Um, I know this episode is slightly short, but I'm going to end it here. Be well, not here. I'm going to walk to the bar. But um, the reason I'm going to do that is because... Actually, I'm going the wrong way. Is because every time I go in the bar, I lose uh, monetization rights for the video. So I'm going to try to do all of the stuff in that bar in one episode rather than go in there, start talking to them, end the episode, and then lose rights on two different things so it shouldn't be too bad we'll see um yeah and honestly it's not a huge concern i i mean i make fractional pennies on every one of these videos and it's kind of a labor of love i went the wrong way uh, but um it is i just the less money i can give to random corporations the better if at all possible and that's the other thing that kind of bums me out is um, the license for the, the songs in this game from the, the specific bands, like especially the one that plays in the, the, the Jenna Torture song that plays in the last round, isn't held by them. It's held by a music conglomerate, so my pennies don't even go to the band. They go to the record label. And I guess that's okay. I mean, it is their due, but I'm not going to give them any more than I have to. Wait! Oh. Uh, about the sarcophagus? Uh, you don't look... Uh, y yeah, man, what's up? Don't open it. Whatever you do, do not open the Ankaran sarcophagus. 
Oh, uh, you said there was nothing to worry about. Well, despite what I said, if that sarcophagus is opened, there will be disaster. In what form, I cannot be sure. But after studying the evidence, I'm convinced now that it is better left undisturbed. And anyone who pursue any other course is deserving of the consequences. All right, why did you change your mind? There's an intangible sensation I haven't been able to put my finger on since I came to town. I still don't know where it seeps from. But if the sarcophagus is a possibility, to eliminate that chance, it should remain closed. Thank you, Beckett. Thanks for the warning. I thought you deserved a chance. There's a good possibility we may not meet again. Goodbye, young one. Bye, Beckett. I appreciate your warning. I, you know, if I had my magical Bioware ending... Later, buddy. Miss you, too. If I had my magical Bioware ending, I would side with either the Anarchs or the Quajin. You know, I actually, I pretty much respect Ming for coming out and telling me all of the nonsense. But, um, side with one of those factions. Give, put LaCroix's head on a pike. Yeah, probably for the best. I don't know, but we'll see. All right, so this is my stop. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like I said, I know this one's a little short. I'll see you again soon.